Meanwhile, back at the starting line, we have Jim Whiteley and Aaron Tatum coming to the line as they fire up their cars. Let's check in with Stat Guy, get an update on our injured buddy, Sean Cowie. Yep, spoke to his fiance Taylor Heritage this week, and he says he had the pins out. She said he had the pins out, which is a good step. He's in great spirits. He knows he has a lot of hard work, and this is the quote. He wants to get back in the race car as soon as possible. I mean, that is amazing. He's injured in an accident going to Charlotte. He was riding his motorcycle and was blindsided and got hit. Now, they said not only did they take the pins out, but the day after that, they had him sitting up on the bed and already starting to exercise. So mentally, he's a great champion. I'm telling you, physically, he's a lot better off right now than a lot of us thought after that accident. Well, and I'd rather do physical therapy than, than not, if you know what I mean. So a long road to go for him, but uh, Sean, we wish you the best. Here comes the Why Not Racing Machine. Big round for him. Up against the man who's been off the scene for a while, Aaron Tatum. He said he wanted to be a contender when he came back. Well, he's contending to go to the finals today. This will be a very interesting matchup. The Why Not team, to me, has just been exceptional. This is their 40th national event. They've already been to 12 final rounds. And they are stunning when they get to the finals. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. Aaron Tatum in that fuel-injected car has been running very well. Said he came back right now and is running almost on a par with Jim Whiteley, although Jim qualified at a 536. You can see the numbers right there. Took out the great running Marty Thacker with a 536. So he is the car right now with the performance advantage. And on these racetracks, it's going to be tough for that injected car to pick it up and run low 530s. We talk a lot about the Tom Conway, the Norm Grimes, the tune Jim Whiteley. Joe Mond is another one of those guys that's been around and done this for quite a while. Joe Mond has just been doing a great job. He's involved with a lot of cars, especially down in the Division 4, the Division 5 area, which is where we happen to be this weekend. And and Aaron Tatum with that fuel injected car, very dedicated, he loves cars, all kinds of really cool cars. Wife here with him uh, this weekend. Like I said, he was running two classes. Not many guys run a dragster and a super gas car, but he was. But he's going to have to be very good off the start tonight, get that wheel speed up, and be able to handle that very narrow window between shaking the tires from not enough power and spinning them from having too much power. I mean, you expect Whiteley to run 36 or quicker almost every round now. Big move by Whiteley. Oh, but he's out of the groove. Wow. How about this? Aaron Tatum with a 575 is going to go to the final. Who's got lane choice? Uh, the 575 by 24.3 seconds. Wow, that is a stunning <laughs> run. We're going to take is. a look at this again. When these cars came out of the starting line, Jim Whiteley's team has really not made a bad run all weekend long until now. Got out there. You can see the tire marks right there, the little dotted pattern. As he goes out, they were on again and off again, and now he's out of here. Like a basketball dribbling, and that means Aaron Tatum will make his way into the finals, and with that 575, picks lane over Cody Perkins in that 38-50. Big crowd on hand. Looking forward to all the finals, which are coming up next.